Hi, this is Steve, and welcome to another edition of the World of Global Equity Timing. Today we're going to talk about atom buy signals in combination with support and resistance, and we also show you a few ADA tricks along the way. So let's get right to the charts and see what we're looking at today exactly. All right, we have a chart of... APD, air chemicals, air products chemicals. This is a daily based chart. Across the bottom, we're showing ADA, accumulation distribution alerts, one of our most powerful indicators. And we're also going to be looking at the concept of support and resistance. In this case, we have price resistance on the chart. Uh, price resistance is a point where a stock stopped rallying and declined. Notice that we have two resistance points here. The first time it came up and rallied, it came back down, came back and hit the resistance point, could not go above it, and went back down. That was kind of like a ceiling that was stopping the stock from going higher. Now, watch what happens. It finally breaks out to the upside. It comes back into resistance right there and then the stock pops back up above resistance with a new buy signal. Notice that a concept of charts is that once resistance is broken it now becomes support for subsequent price movement. Uh, what was prompting us to buy this stock at this moment in time was not only the price resistance that had been broken but an atom buy signal that occurs right above resistance which now has become support. The other thing that we liked a whole lot about this was the fact that the ADA had a its highest level, a very powerful ADA right above resistance. It indicated there was a lot of accumulation going on in this particular stock, and indeed it did go much, much, much higher. So the combination of an atom buy signal, a breaking of price resistance, which now became price support, and the atom or rather the ADA signal, ADA showing a strong accumulation were all positive. The green areas on the chart, by the way, are when ADA is positive and it lights up as green. I want to show you something that we also talk about in other videos and what really caused this chart to light up was an ADA pattern called WAM. It's a very special pattern that what it says is that when ADA goes extremely negative and then there's buy signals almost immediately following this extreme negativity. What it tells us is that selling of the stock has been overdone. It doesn't matter who is selling it, professionals, amateurs, retail traders, it really does not matter. The fact is, once this stock gave a buy signal following this extreme selling, it told us that everybody said, oops, we made a mistake. Well, the wham says, Basically, it's a whack-a-mole. That's what WAM stands for. And basically, no matter how much selling occurred, you just couldn't keep the stock down. It gave a buy signal. That was another powerful indicator, not only the WAM pattern, but the subsequent huge accumulation plus resistance plus buy signals from Adam. All those in combination told a trader in the global equity timing world to get long, and get long was a superb idea as this stock had a, a very major move. Putting it all together, that's what you want to do in any trading environment. Find all the conditions that pull you together into one good trade. And that's the idea of any good trading system, whether you work with global equity timing or anything else. You want to stack the evidence in your favor. You want to look at the environmental context, context the conditions that underlie any particular signal. And this particular signal right here had a lot of powerful environmental context, which was bullish. Well, this concludes another edition of the World of Global Equity Timing. This is Steve wishing you good timing and good trading and good day.